Hello everyone and welcome to my channel On The Hook Crochet with Jeannie where we talk about wearable crochet style and let's find out what's on the hook. Today is Monday, happy Monday and it's giveaway Monday today. I have something a little bit different today to bring to you. I am traveling this week so I will be announcing the winners for this giveaway next Monday. This is a special giveaway Monday. I have only two winners. I've, I've decided to have two winners this week and because the gifts are rather expensive and I had a couple of these things that were put back and I did not want to crochet them so I'm going to give them away to my my subscribers and I have a knit crate box and also a crochet surprise box and let me go through these and show you what's in them and um, if you are interested in either one of them you can put a comment down in the comment section but um, I want my, my viewers and subscribers to uh, listen to see if I have anything useful for them and to subscribe to the channel if they feel like it's a good thing and also to join the community down in the description box I have a link there where you can join the community and receive a discount code for patterns that are out on my Etsy shop so just wanted to say that and get that out of the way First of all, I am giving away the, the Malabrigio Knit Crate for this quarter. It comes once a quarter, and this is a gorgeous yarn. I am not disputing that at all. This is absolutely fantastic yarn, but it is a size one. And I know, Jeannie, <laughs> I know that I'm not going to make this up. It will sit and... I want somebody to make it up that would love to have it. Now this is some of the softest yarn you can even imagine. And I did see Creative Grandma's review of this particular box and she was very taken with the yarn. Hmm, smells good. And I I actually am too. It's a it's called Baby Silk Packa. And you can imagine what's in it. It's 420 yards of number one yarn and it is 70% baby alpaca and 30% silk so you can imagine what that feels like it's just absolutely wonderful and and there are two hanks of this in the box two hanks and mine were pretty similar I think she was saying that hers weren't all that similar this one has a lot more pink in it though than this one that has just a little bit of pink <clears throat> but I believe if you um, crocheted this one after the other, it would probably be just fine. Um, the colors are, are so similar that I don't think it would be an issue. Um, they're all just in kind of a different order. And once these yarns are caked, you will see that there's a huge difference in what this looks like and what the caked yarn looks like. I have found that over the last year, that when I cake something that's been hanked, it doesn't look the same. It looks totally different. And then when you crochet it, it looks even more different. So uh, I hope somebody who wins this will really enjoy making it. And um, unfortunately, I can't move giveaways around. So if you don't like this one and you like the other one and you win, I really can't swap. I, I'm not going to do that because I get in the middle of who wants what and all that. So giveaway winner number one will receive two hanks of Silk Packa, Baby Silk Packa, from Knit Crate. And that comes along with two of these cutesy little things. They're a rainbow logo pin. And that's cute. You can put that on your project bag. And these knitting stitch markers. These are not crochet stitch markers. They're knitting stitch markers. You put them on your knitting needle and um, then you take them off but you can't use them for crochet but if you know a knitter you can give those away to a knitter and they would probably absolutely love that so it also comes with the very lovely book and I, I love this book it's gotten a little bit thin I don't know why maybe because the the yarn is so thin <laughs> I don't know but it is ba based on the colors of birds and look at that I mean They've got it right. I mean, they really do. I, I love the way they take a theme 
and then they color their yarn or order their yarn colored a certain way. I really like that. And this is the crocheted shawl pattern and it is doable. It's an intermediate pattern. It's just a couple of pages long and of course it's not written in the same conversational style that mine are <laughs> so you have to know how to read a pattern but uh, I believe that it's doable and if you don't like that you could make it uh, maybe even double it up and make it into make it by an Elena scarf pattern which is what this is and uh, I used a hand dyed yarn for this and if you go to my playlist down in the description box for scarves all about scarves I think it is uh, the Elena scarf is in there and tells you how to find it it's I believe a free pattern she I hate to say things that I don't know for sure but um, it's made in a very easy pattern it does have a beautiful border on it there's also a hook by Robin pattern that you could use the border is crocheted into the scarf as you crochet it it's such a great pattern that's another good pattern as well so you could probably use this to make either one of those patterns or the one in the book this is a very nice book I have to say and this will come in the box with the two hanks of yarn and the two little gifts that come with it and that will go out to giveaway winner number one giveaway winner number two will receive the crochet surprise from I believe it was August and this is the pattern card that comes with it and the box was for nesting baskets and here's a picture of one of the nesting baskets one of the sets and then here's a picture of the other basket I don't want to compromise the pattern but that's a picture of the purple basket and I'll show you what yarn comes in the box of course uh, it, there's a little prize in this one as well and that is a row counter which is very convenient if you like to count rows so that comes in there in the box and three balls of sugar and cream in in the purple color this is a supersized ball and it has two I believe it's 200 yards on it and it's 100% cotton number four and you make your baskets with this and this is called here's a name on it dark orchid a very beautiful color that you would make three nesting baskets with and there's a tutorial out there but I'm not sure if you can get to it if I give this away <laughs> I don't know if you can do that so you'll have to follow the pattern and the pattern has plenty of instruction on it it looks like it is fairly easy I don't think it's it's extremely difficult I mean there are only a few a few lines so it should be pretty easy the purple one also has a scallop top on it I thought that was really cute it has a scallop top on it and make that out of purple and then the other baskets are made from lily sugar and cream and you, and you get this huge ball of yarn 706 yards to make there'll probably be some left over but I can't I don't, I don't know for sure but I would say there probably will be and this is the colorway potpourri ombre very very nice I like it I like it it's not plain I like that with the little spots in it so all those will come in the box the three the three balls of purple yarn the large ball of potpourri ombre and the pattern as well and the stitch row counter the row counter and all in the box and I will ship it out to you in the box as it is I removed the tea as y'all know I don't send food or drink through the mail so I took the tea out but everything else is intact in the box and Crochet Surprise does a really nice job with their monthly subscriptions. I um, have found that a, a lot of them are not wearable, of course, and that's, that's just easier to do. Uh, there are so many sizes of women out there that it would be difficult to send out wearables every month. I do know that they sent the Marina wrap out maybe three months ago, and it was a beautiful wrap, and I did make that but most everything that they send out are, are household items or baby things and they're very um, inventive with their uh, monthly subscription I really really like it and I'm continuing to get this 
but it is not always something that I need to have in my whips because I have so many other things going on. Sweaters and tops and cows and shells and scarves and all that. I don't really have time to make baskets, although I would love to. So right now I'm not able and I'm just going to put them in the giveaway. So there will be two giveaway winners and if you will go down in the comment section and put your favorite color for fall, I'd like to know what that is. And that may have something to do with what I um, designed for the fall uh, sweater season. I have a couple of sweaters that I'm designing and on Wednesday I'm sending out a video where I talk about some of the designs that I have in the works so you might want to stay tuned for that. And then next Monday I will be doing a video for the winners of this giveaway for the Crochet Surprise and the Knit Crate. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that as well. So join me next time to find out what's on the hook.